Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. People have their Christmas money and they're spending it on eBay. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales, thrift stores. I, I, I go places where I can buy stuff and sell it again for profit online. Mostly I'm doing that on eBay. And eBay picks up a ton after about Thanksgiving up to Christmas. But if you're new to reselling, new to eBay, there's also a pretty good pop after Christmas. People get their money. They get the check from grandma. They get the $20 bill and the Christmas card from that weird uncle that lives out of state. Sometimes they get gift cards. There are actually eBay gift cards. They ought to actually advertise that more, but they exist. And people get online and they start spending after Christmas. Christmas. And I think some of the things that have been going out of my store here the last couple of days are the result of just that. So let's take a look at what's been moving out of my store. And then we're going to take a closer look at what some of you have sent to me. Nice little pile going out today. Again, mostly easy shippers. It's been the case lately. And I like that. It speeds up the process a little bit. We'll just start over here. How about one of the better sales? L.L. Bean. This is a nice, it's size medium, which is a bummer, but it's got the Sherpa lining and it's just a light jacket, but it has the lining. And so pick this thing up some time ago. Again, like most everything I'm listing right now, it's being pulled out of the pile. And this thing sold day of listing, guys, $47.99 plus shipping. Pretty good. Then we got these guys. I haven't sold any of these for a while. I still have a few more sets of it. The uh, Pure Natural Syrup from Cracker Barrel. Little one and a half ounce. I put these bottles together and sell them as a set. Once you put them together, they actually go out at the 12 ounce rate, which is unfortunate. But $9.98 free shipping. It's a quantity listing. And so we've sold multiple sets of two of these already. And even though we only make a couple of dollars a piece each time... I'll take it. It's actually really, really easy to ship out. The quantity listings are easy to put up, so that's an easy sell. We've got some Skylanders games. None of these sell very well on their own. And we got Spyro's Adventure. We got Swap Force Giants, and what is that? Superchargers Racing. None of them sell particularly well, so I put them all together. They've been sitting a while. I did pick them up. I think this summer, early this summer. And finally, somebody came along and picked them up. $15.79 plus shipping on those. That didn't work out all that well. Stay. All right. Then we've got some tactical gloves going out. We've got a handful of these left. These are the Peacemaker Fleece Anti-Slip Gloves. Again, a size medium. Medium heading out today. This one going out the door for $19.19 plus shipping. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I tend to like the Disney clamshells. If these are in good shape, sometimes I'm a sucker and I, I, I pick them up. They don't sell for a whole lot. Some of them, if they're new and sealed, some of them will. And people just like to display this one. There, there's a great following for Raiders. And it's a cool look on the VHS cover. It's been sitting for a while, but I don't mind those sitting on a shelf. $4.99 plus shipping on Raiders. We got the Jane Mansfield collection on DVD. This one that I was cleaning up, there's some light scratching on them, so I just buffed them real quick when I was doing some other games and then listed them. And these sold in I don't know, about a week or so. I don't think they've been listed for all that long. Maybe two weeks. $15.99 plus shipping on those. We've got a Sony Handycam. This is the uh, the charger for it. Unfortunately, this battery does not hold a charge. And so that really hurts the value. But they will still sell because somebody can use it plugged in or they can buy a new battery. I, maybe I could have looked online and gotten a new battery, but I just went the easy way and described what the issues with it were and sold it as it is and it did sell in a matter of weeks $89.59 free shipping this will go out a couple pounds so we'll make a decent amount of money off of that the micro pad this is just a numeric keypad that uh, that hooks up 
to your computer, I guess. It's still new and sealed, which is why I picked it up. There it is right there. And not a ton of value. I was hoping there would be more, but it was part of a lot. It's all profit, so why not? $24.31. Again, free shipping. We got a lot of free shippers today. But that'll go out at a couple pounds, and there'll be plenty left over. Here we got a viewer sale. We, oh, sorry. Well, let's look at this one. We've got, remember the duck-adjacent critters that we got sent? We'll, we'll tell you about more about those here uh, in, in just a second. But one of them going out to our friend Marble. So Marble picked up the, uh, the giraffe and also got this guy. We got Daffy Duck. Not a ton of value, but... He was cool, and so I listed him, and I took an offer of $5 free shipping on that from Marbell because she did purchase the giraffe duck, I guess, but, uh, you know, so we can, we can put those together and ship them off. So uh, thank you so much for stopping in. You're a great supporter of the store, and I so appreciate you. We've got finishing us up this guy. This is the Thighmaster, and it's in decent shape not great shape there's some nicks and stuff like that but these will sell they they're not quick but they will sell if you can get them for cheap you know i think i got this for a dollar and it took a few months for it to move out but it is headed out the door for 14 dollars seven cents plus priority shipping and an eclectic bunch to round us out here, though I guess every day in my store is a little bit like that. A couple of high dollar sales over here, but let's start on this side. You guys know I don't mind selling small stuff. It all adds up, and it's fun. I like listing little toys and figures and stuff like that, and that's what this is. You see right there, this is an old Lesney. It's a snow track, but it only has one set of tracks. It doesn't have anything on the other side, lost to age. These things are pretty old, and this guy sold on an offer that I sent out. I sent a whole bunch of offers the other day, I think 60 all at once, and had a few of them come back. This one sold for $3.58 plus shipping for the snow track. This was another offer that I sent out. This is from How to Train Your Dragon. Light Fury, this is not a high dollar. Some of them actually go for really, really good money on How to Train Your Dragon. That guy, relatively low, and it's actually been sitting for a while. Finally moved out when I sent out a 10% off for 9 bucks plus shipping on that. My clamshell problem. You guys know I pick up these, the Disney and stuff like that, when they're new and sealed in the clamshell. And I've got a soft spot for the Land Before Time. That was, that was my era of cartoon growing up. Of course, they got pretty bad as they went down the line. This is Land Before Time 4. I've, I don't think, ever seen this one, but still new and sealed in the plastic. And this guy sold for $2.99 plus shipping. Not really worth it unless you like it and unless you can get them super cheap. International sale. Clifford, the big red dog. This is a best of. I think there's five. Yeah, there's five DVDs in here, 42 episodes. This has a really strong sell through rate. I didn't anticipate this one going internationally. But it did overnight. Twenty nine sixty eight Great British pounds would we'll make uh, I don't know probably fifteen bucks or so off of that one. This is going to one buyer picked up two of them, both in Canada, actually. And so this is from an old comic book. This one was actually from an ad I think in the comic book that I cut out. Old Spidey put him underneath some acrylic there, and so now he's a magnet. So we've got Spider Man. And the Silver Surfer. I liked this magnet. This one was really cool. It worked really well, the image. So both of these, $3.99 plus international shipping to Canada. I'll be able to get them some of that shipping back because they paid shipping on both of these individually. So I'll be able to get some of that back. It's not going to cost that much to send those up to Canada. Here we've got Croc, Legend of the Gobbos this for the old PlayStation. And this one also is going international. 23.74 euros all in. So pretty good on a disc only. Another disc only Crash Bandicoot. Again, for the PlayStation, not high dollar, but sells well. $9.98 plus shipping. We got a duck. 
going out. This one of the larger ducks, and uh, one that some of you have sent us a bunch of ducks recently, this one of those. We've got more to talk about here coming up after the video, but little New Orleans Mardi Gras duck, or actually a large Mardi Gras duck. And you look at the eyes, and I think this is, uh, you know, midway or near the end of Mardi Gras for this duck. And this is going out to the More Is More shop. More Is More shop underscore seven, actually. So thank you very much for picking that one up. Portion of that going to the Gary Sinise Foundation, of course. And we got from Cars, the Gaskets car number 80, $3.99 plus shipping on that guy. Another viewer sale. Masters of the Universe, Friend and Foes. We've got the old golden color book. This one is pretty cool. Now, there's some damage to the book. You can see there's a sticker on the front, and there's just bends and stuff like that. The pages, some of them, you can see, are bent over. So it's not in great condition, but it is unused, which is super cool. And Lester picked this one up. Lester, look at that. You got a lot of, oh, look at that. You got some puzzles in here, crossword puzzles, of course, the coloring pages. This is actually really neat. Old coloring books will sell, guys, as long as they are unused, or at least mostly unused. And this one was one that I sent an offer out on, and it turned out Lester was watching this one from Yardvark Finds. So, Lester, thanks so much. $16.70 plus shipping, and you've got hours of fun right there. <laughs> Thanks very much. Here we've got something that's really neat. I like these. This is what they called a cabinet card, as I understand it, just because they would often set them in their cabinets. Now they take the picture. You can see there's an edge right there. So they, they take the picture and then they, I guess, glue them onto this, like a cardboard piece. And this one, this particular one, has like some scalloped edges on it, which is pretty cool. And this one was taken in Tower, Minnesota by uh, Lang is the photographer. I think it's C.W. Lang, I, I, I think is what I found. He had multiple studios uh, all across Minnesota at different times. And I've been able to, for a lot of these, I, I bought uh, a book of these actually from uh, a local viewer of the channel. And I, I bought a book of them for 20 bucks. I don't know anything about them other than I know sometimes some of them sell. And I wanted to learn a little bit more about these. And so uh, I bought for 20 bucks. He gave me a great deal on them. And I bought a whole bunch of them. And I've been listing them here and there. I've got some more. Actually, I'm listing today. They're probably going to be listed as uh, as you watch this. They'll be up now. But you can see they they glue the photo onto the cardboard. And that's to prevent it from curling. And then they could display this in curio cabinets and that sort of thing. And so I've learned a few things. You can look up the name, of course, and look up the location of the studio. Most of these that I got are from the Midwest, Minnesota. There's some from Chicago and, and different places in Illinois, that sort of thing. If you find those that have the square corners, uh, generally it seems like those are, at least from what I've learned, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows a lot about these, but they're after... Uh, 1900, the year 1900. Before that, they were often uh, curved corners, and I have some of those as well, rounded edges or rounded corners, I guess. And uh, so that helps you date it a little bit. I actually found one that I'm going to list today. It's dated on the front, 1887, which is just really cool. It's such a neat piece of history. And this one sold, I believe, on an offer that I sent out. You can see she looks quite stern. She looks like a very serious woman. And then this girl in a uh, very pretty white dress. Uh, shout out Farm Girl Scavenger, actually. Uh, she was helping me with some of these. I know she knows a lot about these. And so when I first got them, uh, I sent a message to her and we talked back and forth a little bit. Noelle is a, a fantastic human person. And so uh, go, go check her out. She's very, very good at the random stuff. She makes a lot of money off of things that you wouldn't think you can make money off of, and she's very, very good at it. And so I, I appreciate her for helping me out with these a little bit and getting me started in the research. But this one, the cabinet card, sold $14.21 plus shipping. So pretty solid there on a $20 investment. Sell one more, and we're pretty much even. Some of them are different prices and stuff based on 
what the pictures look like, but I'm going to be happy with those. We actually just sold this just as I started. And so I'm going to throw this one in. It's pretty tall. You can see that it's like a faux wood. It's not actual wood. I got this from my folks, actually. And this is from Alaska, a totem, of course. Totem stuff sells pretty well. And I don't know if it's going to show up on there. Nah, you can't really. You can barely see right there in the middle. It says Alaska. It's kind of worn off. This is just a tourist thing that somebody would have gotten some time ago in Alaska. But I thought, you know what, we're going to try it. And I got an offer on it, and it sold. So eight bucks plus shipping on that guy. And then our two best sales right here. Here we've got an Xbox 360. It's got a little bit of damage on it. Um, yeah, on this side, you can see it's a little bit bent up right there, unfortunately. Otherwise, I think it would have been worth a little bit more. But tried to, as best I could, document that in the photos and explain that there was some damage. But it, it works okay. It doesn't have the original controller, but I had another controller that I could pair with it. And we've got the power brick and some AV cables that I had. So we've got essentially a whole unit here. And this was a, I believe, limited release. It's the Star Wars R2-D2 360. And this thing sold for $143.36 plus shipping. Pretty solid. And then this guy's already packaged up, or at least in a cellophane bag. I, I had him this way. I don't do that with a lot of my stuff now when I when I put them in my totes. But this I did just to protect it because it is a little bit higher dollar, of course. I wanted to make sure that it stayed in good shape. And this I got from a whatnot auction, actually. I went back and looked. I got it for $42. Plus, I got a few more things from that auction. So shipping on this, I was charged $2.50. So let's say I'm $45 all in. And I sold this guy. This is an Aaron Judge jersey, and I sold it for $143.99 plus shipping. So ballpark made 100 bucks off of that buy. I'm very happy with that. I'm happy with what is going out of the store and happy with what's coming into the store from you guys. And a couple of things I mentioned uh, during one of the previous videos that somebody had sent us a whole bunch of ducks, and I had misplaced the, the card that came with it. Well, I found it. I, I knew I had it floating around somewhere and I found it. And uh, it came from the truly insane one, one, the, the numeral one. So uh, they said, you know, I had to contribute to raising money for the Gary Sinise Foundation. They bought the ducks, said, I hope it raises a good amount for the veterans, but I'm also donating directly. I wasn't sure if they wanted me to Put the amount out there so we'll skip that but it's a significant amount and I, I i really appreciate that so thank you so much for that very cool uh, we mentioned the ducks that came to us from idaho and i got into those and those are now listed so those are in the store and they came with a, a a nice note and a really cool set of stickers from walks ultimate findings check that out and uh said i guess it's based after his dog so that's really cool. That's a fantastic sticker. I love it. Thank you so much for that. But that's not all. I now have these guys listed as well. And these came from Eric and Ethan. They actually sent me some pictures. They found a duck claw machine. I love the claw machine. My daughter found out when she was very young that I was very good at those claw machines. She won a lot of stuffed animals at uh, various grocery stores and would see the machines and point to them. And I'd say, okay, well, give me 50 cents. I'll get you something. I, I, I got pretty good. Eric and Ethan said, big fan of the channel. Uh, my son, Ethan, and I won these out of a duck claw machine. When I saw the machine, the first thing I thought of was you. Hopefully you can put them to good use. Thanks for the entertaining content. So thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. And these guys are now listed in the store. I'm going to put them over here in my duck box. Also, I ran across Farmer Mark today and he says, hey, I've got a bag of ducks in my car for you. And uh, it's a gigantic bag. So Mark, thank you so much. Uh, Mark is a fantastic friend. There's some duck adjacent stuff in here as well. Look at this guy. I don't know. We're going to get those in there and list it. So we've got the, the not ducks are listed. There's some not ducks in here too. 
that we're going to list. Then, check this out, guys. This, I think we're going to put this one up for auction. Uh, because it's cool sometimes to put various things, duck-related or ducks themselves, up for auction. This is going to go to 100% uh, support the Gary Sinise Foundation. This came from James, uh, another father-son, James and his son, Ben. It's a size 2XL on a Gildan tag. How cool is that, right? It says, I need to get my ducks in a row. It's dated uh, 2007. Jared Lee Studio, 2007. And uh, got a nice note as well. And th this has actually been sitting around for some time. I've uh, been meaning to get to this, and it keeps getting missed. I keep forgetting to tack it on. And I've been wanting to do an auction for this. And so now, I guess, is the right time. Uh, it says, my name is James. Myself and my son, Ben, have started this business I've been watching your YouTube vids for quite a while. Love your content and love your direction. I saw the shirt at a yard sale and knew I had to, it had to go to you. I'm always looking to help people out and figure out how to make them more money with merch. This would be perfect merch idea. However, someone beat you to it. <laughs> beat you, to it. you can still wear it or sell it, your choice, or you could auction it. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Too much to say in one letter. Hopefully we will keep in touch, enjoy the shirt, and hopefully we will meet somewhere down the road. And he does say, side note, put more in videos of geography and state attractions. We love to hunt and fish. I mean, if my kids weren't still in school, I would be moving up there somewhere. It's a very beautiful country. Again, great work and keep up the content, James and Ben. So, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And uh, it is. It's it's God's country, officially. That's one of our slogans. So, a big sky country, God's country, the last best place. We've got a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. And I sometimes, I've mentioned it before, sometimes take it for granted. Like, oh, yeah, those are just the mountains out of my back window, you know. But uh, a lot of folks aren't blessed with that where they are. So I, I need to be a little bit more cognizant of uh, just sort of looking around me, not, not not just for videos, but but for me. You know, that's that's stuff that you should not take for granted. I'll, I'll put a link down in the description. If it's not in the description, it's not up yet. So if you, you're watching, it's not in the description, come back because it will be. And 100% of the proceeds are going to go to the Gary Sinise Foundation. Also a completely non-duck related Thank you, or a couple of them, I guess. I got several uh, little notes and cards for Christmas. I should have brought them out here, but we had them up with our other stuff uh, that we got from family members and stuff. So I uh, appreciate all of those that sent along little notes like that. And uh, a special shout out to uh, Brian Klaus. He sent me a box of cookies, guys. I'd show you what they look like, but they didn't last very long. But I'm riding the bike so I could eat cookies, ride a bike, and then it was a wash. We do still have to uh, pick and give away a winner for the patch. I was going to do it in this one, but uh, it got a little bit long. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll push that back to an upcoming video for those of you that uh, commented on the video a couple back and said uh, they were interested in winning the free Montana Hunter Education Graduate Patch. I haven't forgot about you. It's still coming up. But until we do that, we'll see you.